Well, of course. I'm going to start with myself. I started taking prime joint myself and chronic orthopedic issues from uh, multiple working out, and I felt that the uh, it started alleviating symptoms in my shoulders, in my knees, and in my back. So then I started using it on, on patients. So again, we started with prime joint, and I was phenomenal on the results that we were getting from patients that they actually felt their foot better, their knee was better, to the point where their symptoms were controlled that um, avoided surgery in certain instances. Um, then we started looking at other products. Uh, the name, to name one, is OPC. We started talking about pycnogenol, and OPC could be probably an adjunct in helping patients heal post-surgically. So we started using OPC, and subsequent to that, we started using bromelain. Bromelain, as you know, is a, um, a peptidase enzyme which helps scar tissue. So the combination of OPC and bromelain has, has decreased the swelling and pain and decreased the need for narcotics when doing a surgical procedure. Another product that I'm very familiar with is magnesium. Uh, when we see patients, we often see patients, especially post-surgically, with cramping and spasms. And we found that magnesium alleviates a lot of the spasms, especially when they're cast and mobilized. So these are the surgical products, but what I talk to my colleagues about is not just the surgical products, but also disease processes, one being diabetic neuropathy. Well, diabetic neuropathy responds very well to activated B. And then we add the um, bromelain and the OPC, and we found there's a decrease in the need for pharmaceutical agents such as Cymbalta or Lyrica because of the use of these, uh, these, these products. There are many stories that I can share, especially with patients that uh, uh, were a little skeptical about trying the, um, the nutraceutical and found that their symptoms were uh, relieved to a point where they needed less medication and where it had a better quality of life.